Morning everyone, I hope your day is going well. Today is Saturday, December 14th, 2013, and it's about 10.15 a.m. I received some news when I woke up this morning that Amanda Billy Rock of YouTube fame is caged by some New Hampshire law enforcers. Uh, one idea that people online have pitched is to do a, a phone bomb, so to speak, and call up the lockup and ask them what her charges are, because it's unclear to we activists at this time what Amanda's charges even are. Uh, so the number for the lockup is 603-527-5480, and I invite you to make your own calls. As a model, I'll provide one here for you now. This is my, my best attempt at uh, trying to get some information out of this uh, lockup. Now, I recommend you, you inform the people that you're speaking with that you are recording. If you know your party's extension, and post the video it. online. I'd like to do something For creative with it. Directory, press pound one. For directions, mailing address, or for contact information, visit our website at www. The number two is the one we're looking for. Org. For court related questions, such as current status, charges or bail, press 2. There we go. Remember, say, I'm recording. Hello, I'm County Department of Corrections Officer Asses. Hi there. I'm recording this call for my records. I'm looking for some information on the charges for Amanda Billyrock Johnson. Yeah, um, she's just here in a no-bail status. Uh, what, is, uh, what is that charge? Um, I can't tell you that, sir. Uh, is this the number that I call to find charges for individuals who are locked up in the Belknap County Department of Corrections? Yep. And I, I can't. I can't give that out, sir. Uh, I don't understand. Is this the number that I call for that information? I believe so, but I I still can't give that to you, sir. It Can is our policy not to give out charges. Um, why is it an option on your phone? I don't understand. I, I don't know, sir. I really don't call it, but... Oh, well, uh, just if, to, if, to catch you up... If you have up, any questions about it, you can call the superintendent on Monday. Well, no, that doesn't really help me. See, a friend of mine is, is being caged by um, you and your colleagues, is my understanding, and I just want to know why. Yeah, all I can tell you is that she's here under no bail status. A no bail status? Did I understand yep. that correctly? I don't. Yep. I don't know what that means. Maybe you can help me understand. Um, bail is set if bail is set to. She'd have to pay him some money to get out, and no bail has been set. Wait a minute. So, am I to understand seriously that uh, a, a friend of mine is being held in a cage, and you're telling me that she has to pay a certain amount of money to leave, and you won't tell anyone why? I'm, I can't give out the charges, no. I, I mean, well, sir, uh, can you look deep inside yourself and ask yourself if that sits right with you in your heart? It is the policy of, the, of this facility not to give out the charges. Oh, I see. So you, you're aware of the charges, but uh, to my understanding, uh, your superiors are telling you not to let anyone know uh, why you've kidnapped this young lady? All I can say is she's here on a no-bail status, sir. Okay. Um, this, do you have any sort of uh, problem with that? All I can say is she's here on a no-bail status, sir. Is there any opportunity that she'll be released um, this weekend? This weekend? Probably not. Can you explain why you gave that reason? She is here on a no bail status. Oh, I mean, and she has to go in front of a judge. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's why you said probably not because a judge typically doesn't come on the weekend. I'm just trying to understand. Am I understanding that correctly? Yep. Oh, okay, great. I didn't. I didn't hear your uh, affirmative in that. Now, it, I, I, I'm sorry to ask so many questions, and I, I do uh, really appreciate um, you answering. But uh, it really, I have to tell you that it, it concerns me deeply that an individual can be locked up in America and charges are not given and uh, that a, a, a ransom, in fact, is, is imposed. How is this any different from a kidnapping from the Mafia? 
All I can say is she's here on her no bail status. If you want to know the charges or anything, you can call Laconia Police Department. Do, do you feel like a thug? All I can say is she's here on her no bail status, sir. Do you realize that's a non-responsive answer and that you're evading some pretty serious questions? All I can say is she's here on her no bail status, sir. How long will you kidnap an individual who doesn't uh, give her sure, name? Sir, th this conversation is going nowhere, and I have other things I need to be doing, so I'm going to have to say goodbye. Well, why is it going nowhere? Why aren't you answering these questions? All I, I have answered your questions. All I can say is she's here on a Nobel status. Can I ask who, who gave you the instruction to give that answer? Yeah, like I said, you can call the superintendent on Monday morning. Yeah, what superintendent is the... Superintendent Ward. Okay, Superintendent Ward. And what is the phone number for that, sir? You just call the same number that you called to get me, and we'll transfer you to the superintendent. So that's 603-527-5480. I just want to make sure that's correct. Yep. Well, I wish that I could get more answers. Uh, you know, I, I really, I called this line because it says press 2 to find out charges. And it's strange to me that you won't give them. I, all I can say is she's here under Nobel status. And I'm going to have to go, sir. Why do you have to go? I, because I get a facility I got to run, sir. Is she okay? Yes, she's fine, sir. I don't know if I can believe you if you don't give me all forward information, but I guess this is as far as uh, this uh, line of questioning can go, and I, I, I hope you have a good day, and I hope that you consider your actions. All right. Have a good day, sir. Bye. <sighs> oh, boy, that really concerns me that in America someone can be locked up uh, charges won't be given, and an individual can happily answer the phone and say, yeah, we kidnapped her, and she won't pay the ransom. That's good enough for me. If it's not good enough for you, you can call on Monday. Get some answers then. This is one peaceful way that we can hold armed bureaucrats accountable, because that's all these police are, right? Armed bureaucrats. Caging a peaceful person, not giving the charges. On a telephone hotline, you heard, when you call up, press 2 for charges. Now before, when I called, I was told that I can't, uh, that the individual can't tell me about the charges because I didn't have a full name but now I've given a full name and the charges aren't given. This is very curious and uh, it stinks of lack of transparency. Please give a phone call to the Belknap County lockup and record your call, put it online. Don't forget to tell them you're recording. And I'd like to do something with the videos uh, to show people about this method of holding police accountable. If this is successful, this could be a, a really great um, example for others to follow. So thanks for watching. Rate this video, even if you hate it, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.